Hi, I'm Monica. I'm a senior data analyst at ACAD Guild. Today is the first of a series of machine learning tutorials that we'll be looking at. The first topic that we are going to address is linear regression, which models one of the simplest kind of relationships between variables. So what is regression? Regression analysis investigates the relationship between one or more target or dependent variables and one or more predictor or independent variables. It is used in time series modeling, forecasting, and in finding causal relationships. Regression allows us to find the significant relationships that exist between variables and also the strength of impact each variable has on the dependent variable. It also allows us to find relationships between variables that are measured at different scales. So what is simple linear regression? It is the model that describes the relationship between one dependent variable and one independent variable. The relationship that it models is not deterministic in that one variable cannot be accurately expressed by the other, but rather it is a statistic relationship. The idea is to find the line that best fits the data. The linear regression model is given by the equation y equals b0 plus b1x plus e, where b0 is the intercept, b1 is the slope of the line, and e is the variability in y which cannot be explained by the linear relationship between x and y. So how do these coefficient values describe the relationship between x and y. So let's look at positive values, negative values and zero value for the coefficient b1. So if the slope is positive, then that models a positive relationship between x and y, where when there is an increase in x, there is also an increase in y. If the slope is negative, then that means when there is an increase in x, there is a decrease in y. And when there is no relationship, the slope has a value of zero. And this cannot be modeled by linear regression. So what is multiple linear regression? Multiple linear regression uses several explanatory variables to explain the relationship between the dependent and independent variables. The model is given by y equals b0 plus b1x plus b2x and so on and so forth for as many variables as we have to predict the value of y. Line gives how the mean response new y changes with the explanatory variables. As in simple linear regression, here also data equals fit plus residual, where residual is the difference between the observation and the mean. The method that linear regression uses to minimize the residual is the least square method. This method attempts to minimize the sum of the square deviation of each data point from the line that is predicted by the model. The advantages of this algorithm are that when the relationship is linear, it models it even if the relationship is not exactly defined by the model and it's easy to understand and intuitive to use. The disadvantages of linear regression are that it is limited to linear relationships, it is very sensitive to outliers, and when the number of samples that we have to model the data is fewer than the number of parameters that we have, the model starts modeling the noise rather than actually the relationship between the variables. Some of the assumptions of linear regression are that the relationship that we're trying to model is linear, there is multivariate normality, meaning that a linear combination of a subset of the independent variables has a normal distribution, no or little multicollinearity, which means that the independent variables are not correlated to each other, no autocorrelation, meaning that for the independent variables, previous values cannot be used to predict future values of the same variable, and homoscedasticity, which means that the standard deviation of the error terms remains constant and does not change with different values of x. In the next few videos, we'll look at an implementation of simple linear regression and multiple linear regression in Python. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel. A cat killed. Average is dead.